in a place called Simon de Duip. There lived a seller of banana leaves. Not long ago, in London, I was in the house of a billionaire. Now myself, no, no, actually this was in Bombay, I'm sorry, I was in the house of a very, very wealthy man. And he was telling me how when he was young and he was poor, he used to be able to laugh from his heart. But since he's become so powerful and so wealthy, it's very difficult for him to laugh. <laughs> and he was saying, the only really deep friends I have are the friends I had before I was wealthy. After that, you just don't know who's who. And then his wife, she chimed in that when I was a little girl, I lived in a simple village in India, and I was so happy. Everything was so simple and nice, now everything's so complicated. And they said, Swamiji, can you, tell me a, can you tell us a story that will give us some, some inspiration on what's really important in life? So I thought back, of just a couple weeks before. I was in a village called Simantadweep in West Bengal of India. And I remember there were people working in rice paddies, plowing with oxen, ladies carrying, picking up cow dung and making it into paddies and putting it on their heads in straw baskets and others carrying water on their heads. I saw some ladies with such huge clay pots filled with water, it took two people to put it on their head. And then they took another one and put it on top of that on their head. And then took a smaller one and put that on top of that. And these were not bodybuilder ladies. These were just simple, lean, young girls, and they had these gigantic three tiers of pots on their heads, and they'd walk, usually without, their hands were carrying something else, and they were smiling and laughing and talking with one another as they were walking one, one kilometer from the well. They were focused. It was the art of balancing. If we really know how to balance things, it's unbelievable what we can do. But when we're off balance, everything in our life becomes messy. And there were some mongooses chasing after snakes. And there was little boys playing cricket. It was such a simple place. And there was one little shrine. It's almost abandoned because it's so old. But that was the place of this little banana seller. His name was Sridhar. He was so simple. His occupation was just selling banana leaves. Sometimes he had some bananas or banana flowers and banana bark. And he just sat on the dusty roadside with a little piece of cloth. And people would come sometimes and buy from him. But he was a very different kind of seller. Because his meditation was to make as little profit as possible. Have you ever heard of a businessman like that? <laughs> he would use his creative intelligence because he didn't want to inconvenience anyone. Somehow or other, he would charge just enough to make ends meet. 
And whatever he made, the first half of what he got, he would use it to worship the Lord on the banks of the river Ganges. Little Nimai, every day, would come down that dusty path and ask him, what is the price of these bananas? He would tell him the price. Nimai would say, I will give you half. <laughs> I can't give it to you for half. It's not possible. And Nimai said, then I won't give you anything. Just give it to me for nothing. In this way, Nimai would come every day to argue about the price of bananas for three hours. <laughs> Sridhar just thought he was just a restless boy, but he loved this little boy so much. If he was late to come to argue over the bananas, Sridhar would be thinking, where is he? Where is Nimai? Where is Nimai? And he would come and he would usually just give him whatever bananas he had for nothing. One day Nimai told him, Why are you worshiping Krishna? You're chanting Krishna's name and people are cursing you. People are harassing you because you're so poor and you're apparently so useless. What is God doing for you? Look at your clothes. They're not clothes, they're rags. I see at least 12 holes in your clothes right now. And he didn't even have enough money for needle and thread. He would take the two sides of the, of the rip and tie them in a knot together. And Nimai said, and your body is so thin, you're not eating enough. And look at your house, it's a straw hut with a leaky roof and you have no furniture. All I see is one old iron dented pot that is so useless that you carry water in and you use for whatever purposes you need. Even the most desperate thief in the world would not cast his eyes on that useless pot. Shiva replied with a smile. He said, be my I've been watching this world for a long time and my conclusion is there's a king who has royal garments, a beautiful palace, he's eating fine foods and then there's a bird who has one set of feathers, who lives in a grassy nest and who just eats whatever little berries are there. But in the passing of time, I really don't see much difference between the two. They're both basically doing the same thing in their own ways, and they're getting their own joys, and they're all getting their own pleasures, and they have their own anxieties. I'm happy. I'm happy just chanting the names of the Lord. Me, myself, you are a cheater. You are a rich man with a great treasure, but you are hiding it. You are a hypocrite. And someday I'm going to expose that treasure to the whole world. And Shridhar said, honestly, whatever you see is what I am. I don't have anything else. The Lord said, I will expose you. And he said, now give me your bananas. <laughs> For nothing. And Sridhar said, uh, please don't hit me. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy, take my bananas. Years later, the Lord, to his most intimate associates, revealed his divinity. And one night, he was fulfilling whatever desire 
his most loving devotees had. To one Murari Gupta, who was a devotee of Lord Ram, he revealed the form of Ram and blessed him by fulfilling whatever he wanted. To Haridas Thakur, he revealed his form of Kurashu and blessed him by fulfilling his desires. Then he called for Sridhar. Even the people there didn't know who Sridhar was. He was so unknown. In fact, nobody in town knew that was his name. They just called him Kolavecha, the banana seller. They said, where do we find the Sridhar? He said, just go to this side of the town. It's the middle of the night, and just listen for someone who's chanting God's names all night long, and then you'll find him. And they brought him back. And the Lord revealed his divine form of Krishna Balaram to Sridhar. And then he said to Sridhar, ask for any benediction. I will give you anything and everything you want. Sridhar said, My Lord, I do not want anything. Lord Chaitanya said, But I want to give you something. You are so poor. You are in poverty. I will give you the wealth of a king. Sridhar said, That will only be a disturbance. I don't want the wealth of a king. The Lord said, then, then I will give you, I will give you the eight yogic mystic cities where you can perform supernatural miracles. Yogis work and do tapasya and meditation for lifetimes to receive a single one of these cities. I will give you all the eight mystic cities in full. Sridhar said, that will just agitate my mind. I don't want his mystic cities. The Lord said, ask for something. I will give you mukti. I will give you liberation. No more birth, no more death, no more suffering. Total, complete, eternal peace. Sridhar said, don't, don't tempt me with such things. I don't want mukti. The Lord said, please ask for something. I will give you elevation to the kingdom of God, to the spiritual world where you will live an eternal life, Satchitananda, full of knowledge and full of bliss as my eternal loving associate. I will give you that, the ultimate perfection of prema. Just ask. Sridhar said, I don't want that. The Lord said, but I want to give you something. For my sake, ask for something, please. Sridhar said, if it pleases you, my Lord, you could give me one thing. In that little boy form of Nimai, Please come every day to steal my bananas. <laughs> That's all I ask of you. Let this meditation forever be enacted within my heart of little Nimai coming to steal my bananas. Yes, on that day, the Lord revealed the hidden treasure of the wealth of Sridhar. 